What's up guys? It's Heads Up, Keep Your Heads Up Friday with the girl. I'm Christy. That's my husband. He's also Hi guys. <laughs> also, I'm a poker coach. And we just got to the Bay 101 Casino. We're about to start our own Friday session, but first we're coming at you with a tip. And one of the things that we always talk about when trying to improve our game is that it's important not to do everything at once. In order to improve, it's actually best to have focus. And so every time I play, he's always reminding me to focus on one thing at a time. Why is that? Focusing on one thing at a time is really important in poker because there's so much information, so many things moving at one time, often it just gets all mixed together and you have a hard time kind of um, understanding when things are happening. And so when I look at my own game, for example, one thing that I know I'm gonna focus on today, cause I'm gonna focus on one thing, make sure I do that thing really well, is I'm going to be counting the pot size for me. It's really important because I tend to roughly estimate the pot a lot and oftentimes I don't know the pot size and sometimes I don't, I'm not even really sure about how much that I have to go back and it kind of like messes my, my thought process off, uh, up and um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna focus on today that when you understand like the pot size exactly, then you can structure your bet sizings accordingly. You know, okay, this is the half pot, this is the three quarter pot, this is the third pot and then you can kind of just roughly, um, you know, deviate from there if you wanna go up or down but I find that to be very useful. Yeah, and I can see how if you just went into a session like, I'm just going to play my best, one of the things I need to work on is counting the pot size. You might forget between hands and just not really think about it, but if you're like, this this one thing I'm going to improve, I can see how that really has you build the habit. And something Jared Tendler always talks about is being, having a skill that is so well ingrained in you that it, become, be, it becomes what is it unconscious unconscious competence unconscious competence so if he does this every single day if i do it every single day for three days all of a sudden it's going to be such a habit that mm -hmm. it's not going to take uh too much what's it called mental like uh capacity so that I, you can focus on other things like someone's betting patterns or how they're acting in a hand or their lines so that's what i love and today for me i'm going to focus on in-game awareness something that i sort of struggle with is I, I tend to have my opening ranges like really set and i don't deviate much from them but i need to focus on like okay who's in the blinds who's on the button and adjust from there so that's going to be my thing. What are some other things that, that they're that they could focus on? Yeah, I just would say one more thing too about the pot size that I think is really important is um you know, one thing I do really well in poker is that I I have a lot of experience and so when I sit into a game, I don't have to think a lot about like what my opening ranges are or my three betting ranges or my flatting ranges or you know, counting the pot isn't like right now is like something that takes more of my kind of like my CPU, yeah. my processor. Yeah. And what happens is, is when you have experience and you these things start to become second nature for you, it frees up so much more what I call like CPU or processing power to like focus on in-game adjustments where you're like all these things are kind of second nature for me. So they kind of run behind the scenes at like a low power and then I can like use all my energy and focus on, on other things like exploitation. So if you work on, you know, taking these things for you guys that like, you know, maybe it's your opening ranges, maybe it's your three betting ranges, maybe it's counting the pot, it could be a host of things. But as you nail those down and, and then you have to dedicate less of your processing power to um, to run those programs, then you can also free up more, uh, more of that space to do the same thing. And um, to your question, you know, another thing I think would be really good, a lot of times in low stakes players I see people, um, they're just not aggressive enough. They don't know how to be aggressive. Uh, typically when they do get aggressive, they kind of do what we call spazzing and they just kind of freak out. So um, a lot of times I think that could be something to focus on where, you know, look for spots to be more aggressive. And that doesn't mean that you need to get in there and three bet or four bet, like just kind of clicking buttons. But if a spot comes up and you're thinking, oh, okay, I think maybe I could like raise this river or I could raise this turn bet and you're not feeling confident in the moment about it, 
then just write it down. Write it down and come back to it later, fold. You don't have to do anything crazy. And then when you write it down, you know, review it later with some friends or, you know, maybe run it through a program or, or go on a, to a forum and ask people. Perfect. Okay, so to recap, you understand the importance of focusing on one thing at a time because if you try to do too many things, you'll do nothing. And then we gave you three things that you could possibly bring to your session today that you want to focus on. Counting the pot size on every street, pre-flop, flop, turn, river. Or looking for spots to be more aggressive if you tend to be a little bit more passive. And then the other is in-game awareness and, and pre-flop adjustments based on the players at the table and their positions, like the button, the big blinds, like that. So I think we got, to, we gave you a lot to work with today. I hope you guys have an amazing session. Run good, play good. And have fun. And have fun? What? Yeah, have fun. <laughs> Awesome guys. Also, I just posted an interview with um, his brother, my brother-in-law. You can check it out also on the channel. And be sure to share this. I would love, love, love if you found this tip helpful if you shared it with your friends and subscribed. Alright guys, go crush!